Hey guys, Mo Sandy. Oh, there it is. Uh, I looked into it, and this thing is called like a Kelpie or Nokun. Uh, it's Irish, Celtic, Scottish, Scandinavian, Iceland. It's a horse that lives in the water and seduces young women. Anyway, oh Sophie, you're late. I was waiting for you. <clears throat> and you are? Hey, you should know. I'm unicorn. Oh really? It's a unicorn, eh? Hmm. So I guess I was wrong. I looked that up for nothing. I saw you back in my world. Did you want to bring me over here? Yep, that was the plan. I hated letting Sandman have his way. Plus, you're just so cute. Mm. Hey, Sophie. Do you have a boyfriend or anything? Huh? Well, no. Well, anyone you like? Shut up. And if there is, it's none of your business. Dang, girl. Haha, <laughs> tight lip, are we? That's how girls always are. So, you're here you want to stop saying, man. Oh, I know how that feels. He's such a detestable fellow. Can you tell me what I should do? You bet. But not for free. I want a favor, too. That horn is not going up my... What? A favor? Salmon hides lots of pretty jewels in his house. I've asked to see him again and again, but he's all never to the likes of you. <laughs> so I tried sneaking in for a peek, but he made these weird traps to keep me out. Ill-natured old coot, isn't he? Mm -hmm. So if you can show me one of those jewels, I'll give you something great and useful. How about it? So just bring a jewel here? Yep. Oh. But I want a pink jewel. Not interested in any others. Yeah, you would, freak. Alright, but... What if the Sandman sees me and I can't bring it? Well then. Or you through with my horn. What? <laughs> I can't wait. Good luck, Sophie. Don't make any mistake. A pink jewel. Bring me the wrong thing. Wow, he is a horrible person. Or a horse. A horsin? Whatever. Gonna get small, gonna enter the log. Walking through the front door. Where'd I find that pink jewel? Hmm. I suppose I'll cut until something interesting happens. Time to investigate. Poor guy. Oh wait, there's a lizard down here too. What? You pussy. No? Alright, well. I didn't ask you to cut it, I expect you to rip it off. Let's ask Captain Boogs if he's got anything. No. So we need to use those claws and try some. Oh well. There we go. Maybe we could break this glass wall with a sick, but what was it? Don't throw stones in glass houses? But it's a fairy's house, and this isn't a stone. Hmm. Still a house, though. Technically, it's a castle. Oh, forget it. Yeah! Yeah, girl. There we go. I could cut that lizard's tail, maybe. Can I take it? Hmm. 
Whatever, I got the pink jewel. seems kind of dirty. Maybe I should wash it. What the? It's a pink. Come on. It's actually a clear jewel? So this is a fake. Ah, this won't do. The unicorn would run me through. Good thing I came prepared. Let's see. Wait. No jewel. Hmm. Well, that's disappointing. No. Right. Hey, little boy, can you read what this says? Ah, that's in the jewel harvesting room. It's how to use a suction machine. Uh, I'm interested in this. Put a suction cup on target's head and press button. That's it. No. That's it. Oi. Oi, oi, oi. I wonder if I can suck myself. It's kind of a personal question. Suction machine, maybe. Sucked up the jewels in that other room? So maybe I can make a jewel. Okay, press the button. Yeah! Pretty pink jewel. Yeah! Except I made it out of myself. So that's somewhat alarming. By the way, I'm not cutting out a transition or anything. The magic mirror really is that fast. It's awesome, right? I use the glass shard. Where is the glass shard? Oh. Okay. Now. Now we got all those things. Right, that's the dispensary. How might one make the sand? From your perspective, this is probably going to be a pretty short episode, but I'm at a loss for what to do. So... Wait, 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 no, I did get the pink jewel, so maybe we could just give it to that guy. Alright, you nutsack. Here, unicorn, I brought a pink jewel. Oh, thank you. Finally, I can see this wonderful... Oh? Hold on, is this jewel yours, Sophie? Yeah, I made it. Is that no good? Uh, no, it's fine, but... Maybe I did something kind of bad. Eh? No, nothing. Thanks, Sophie. I've been longing to see this. Here, you can have this. What's this weird colored rock? It's a limestone. It has special powers. It's not working on me, because I've been hard this whole time. When you touch it, you all are weak and limp. Great, isn't it? What's the good in this? How does this help me stop Sandman? First of all, how am I supposed to hold it? Oh, you can ask Dwarf about that. I'm sure he can make it into something you can use. Dwarf? 
Very good at making things, I assume. You know him well. He lives in a cave west of Sandman's house. More open-minded than Sandman, so we should do it. All right, I'll ask him. I'll give you the stone in this bag for now. Wishing for good luck, Sophie. Hey, unicorn. Are you going to keep that jewel? Huh? No, I just wanted to see, but... If you need it, I'll give it back. Do you? Alright, I'll take it back. I did make it, after all. Right, here you go. Treat it nice. Make sure not to drop it or anything. I don't trust him with it, for sure. Is this where Dwarf lives? I can't see anything. Someone there? Um, uh, I'm Sophie. Are you Dwarf? Oi, that I am. Sophie, is it? Nice to see ya. Don't just stand around, come in. Oh, is it too dark for you? Could you do me a favor, Sophie? What? There's glimmers on the plane nearby. Can you catch as many as you can in a cage? Should be a cage around here. Got it. Also, I'm sorry for my brogue. Alright. Let's go, Glimmers. Jeez. That was murder on the ears. So, lucky for you, I'm gonna cut it out. Dwarf, I got a bunch of Glimmers. Dwarf, you there? Jeez. He's got mustaches for eyes. Yeah! Ah, did I scare you? Sorry from Ugly Mug. Alright, come on in. Must be tired from walking. Hmm, limestone, is it? Now, where'd the unicorn get something this valuable? Can you make it into something I can use? Not a problem, my girl. I'll start right away. Just take a seat. Get a nap in if you want. Oh, can't sleep, can you? I'll just sit then. You got it. Say, Sophie, not liking it much in the human world, are you? <clears throat> How do you know that? I just know. Fairies know everything about humans. Yeah, no fun at all. Nothing goes my way. I just hate all of it. In school, I'm with my friend, and with my dad. What's that big pile? And with a guy I like? Hmm. The only guy in our life really is David. David. No! Ew. So I think you should meet her too. As a guy, all I can really do is listen. Maybe she'll be more willing to talk to you. A high school girl? I wonder. That's going to be difficult. Don't want her to call me an old granny. Haha. <laughs> Sophie's not ill-natured like you. She's a great, honest kid. No, really. Then I'll try using that ill-naturedness to my advantage. Will you come with me? I'll be nervous. Of course. Make sure you listen to her, all right? Feel bad at how much she's got to deal with all by herself. All right, I gotta go. You got the day off, right? Don't have to walk me home. I'm fine. Oh, are you coming over today? Yeah, I'll get out of work early. I'll get a bite to eat before I'm there. Got it. See you. Aw. That's too bad. I was stupid for getting all excited over his kindness. David's just kind to everybody. But he was the first person I really liked. Thinking that tomorrow would be more of the same, I started to fear the morning more and more, till I even feared going to sleep. Those lullabies lullaby made. Is that really what I wanted to happen to them all? Was I really thinking such awful things? The other day, Unicorn got himself stuck in a mire. I had a big laugh about that, I did. And you gotta allow yourself that. Doesn't make you a bad kid for thinking that. 
and no point in worrying about being good anyway. So don't go blaming yourself for that sort of thing. Thanks. You're nice, Tor. Well, that's just us fairies. We're friends to kids. Of course, you're a little grown, but still a kid too. Oh? Yeah. So it's fine to get back, I would appease ya. Just putting up with it is what adults do. Um... It's wonderful. Lol. Or, I mean, is this a wand? That it is. Swing this wand, and it'll have the effect of the stone. Give me your hand for a sec, would you, Sophie? What pretty hands. Can't see them, but I'm sure your eyes are the same. That's how it was with your mom, too. You're blind, dwarf? been staring at the flames as I work all my life. Not that it's any trouble not seeing. Darkness doesn't bother me. Besides, we fairies are hard workers. Me, the Tooth Fairy, Nixie, and Sandman too. Though, of course, sometimes to a fault. To a fault? Well, just look at me. I can't see. Tooth Fairy's teeth are all rotten. Nixie's got to care for his skin always being in the water. My dad collapsed from overwork, too. He got a hole in his stomach from stress. Worried for your hard-working dad, eh? You have to treat him right. He's the only dad you got, Sophie. Maybe you can use this lump stone on him. Now go on. Want to stop Sandman, is it? I'll be praying for you. Thank you, dwarf. No. Got a wonderful wand. Hmm. Okay. Pile of broken blades. I'm glad it's blades and not bones. Hmm. All right. Now with that, this episode is over. So I'll figure out where to proceed next. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.